I told my viewers that I'm gonna be giving $500 to the worst setup and I got a ton of submissions. All right, so we're already starting the video off with a pretty busted gaming setup. His peripherals are literally not bad, nor is his mouse bad, but he's playing on not only a, like very small stool on the left side, very small table, but also a cardboard box. I'm really curious to see what his chair is because by the looks of it, it's definitely not gonna be that good. And his PC also is missing a side panel. It looks like one of those really cheap um, Amazon pre-builds that I've literally made like 20 videos on. But seriously though, his setup isn't that bad. I can't really tell if this is fake, just him trying to make it look bad for the video. It might be, but his actual peripherals and equipment isn't that bad. The PC might be struggling a little bit, but all he needs is a desk and cable management, and this guy's already, like, honestly set. Okay, let me know if you guys would consider this a bad setup, but in my books, honestly, it's just a chill setup. He has, like, an Apex Pro TKL G Pro wireless mouse, and each of those are, like, probably $150 each, so they're not bad at all. It looks like he has a Steel Series mouse pad steel series headset and probably at least 120 144 hertz monitor and a pc that's able to run that so this is probably going to be the best setup we see in this video yes i know the obvious thing is he is using it on a mini table and he's literally like basically sitting on his bed to play but honestly i have to rate this setup like a solid 5 out of 10 which is a lot better than the other setups in this video i'm actually releasing my own mouse pad company as you guys can see over here these are all my mouse pads and i think I think it's way long overdue it's about time so i they honestly told me not to leak some of the designs but here you guys can see we got a topo and this is our juiced collection here i'm not going to show you guys all the colors you can see we have more over there in the back but yeah make sure you guys check out the first link in the description and pin comment i also made sure it doesn't have like any cringy like vermax text all as you can see it actually is like the company name mist lab so we did mst for short but yeah if you guys want more information on that make sure you sign up for the launch which will be in the first link in the description and pinned comment. All right, so from V Wave setup, this is an example of what you don't want to do. I know that in previous videos, I said people were lacking personalization and low key. I kind of am more simplistic as you guys can see from the background, but this is just like makes it look really messy. And honestly, yeah, the cups too and the cables everywhere. Like I feel like I couldn't get any work done in this room. It's just way too messy for me. I get that people like keeping like the kind of pop like heads and everything like that, but everything Everything's just so messy and the thing is like everyone that i literally just showed you guys they have nice like peripherals i mean blue yeti mic like decent looking pc two monitors easily gets 120 fps and games and stuff but the setup's just like so badly taken care of and that's honestly why this setup is just in my books rated really really low okay so i know that this setup is actually real it's from brandon and it's actually a dad entering for his son so you love to see that and unlike some of the other setups that might have been like extra messy just for the video because i know people do that this is like a realistically kind of lower budget setup you can tell the keyboard and mouse quite honestly are just kind of cheaper chinese things probably really cheap and also the headset doesn't look the best i mean he does have a ps5 so that is definitely like kind of one of the higher end things and i'm not 100 percent sure but I almost guarantee that that monitor is 60 hertz. It does not look like a 120 hertz monitor. So overall, apart from the actual PS5, and he says that they have like a PC that's 11 years old on the bottom left that barely runs. I mean, honestly, it's more of a really budget setup, especially looking at the desk and kind of how it is. It's not as messy as the other setups. So this is an actual realistic submission, which is definitely unlike some of the other setups in this video. Because I feel like a lot of people just kind of try and make their setup look really, really messy to kind of make it look bad, but this is an actual real setup here. Quite honestly, though, I don't think it's the worst at all. Definitely kind of older desk, cheaper peripherals, kind of cheaper mouse pad and all that stuff. I'd rate it still like a five out of 10 though. But yeah, with $500, this guy could definitely like completely transform his setup or at least upgrade his keyboard and mouse. Okay, so first console setup of the video, it looks like an old gen console. So 60 FPS, kind of basic controller. I ain't gonna lie, a little busted chair. It honestly is just messy. Like the TV is definitely budget. I mean, let's be honest, it is a budget setup, right? But it is not as messy as some of the other setups in this video and i mean there are wires and one ugly wire that's like hanging at the top but i have i also low-key have bad cable management so i can't really judge but honestly this setup isn't as bad but yeah honestly i'm pretty sure that this is not this person's main setup like they definitely have like a kind of computer setup but for kind of chill tv spot it's not that bad apart from the chair which would be better if it was a sofa or something but it honestly for a tv setup it's not that bad honestly i've never owned a tv 
in my life. So I guess I have a lot of monitors, but I never had like a TV console chill setup. So, okay. So I thought this setup was fake and you guys will have to let me know, but this guy actually had multiple screenshots of it. So either he took it from a video, but they look like realistic, like phone screenshots that you would get. His name is XTRM and it, he says it's an R3 3200 gig with 16 gigabytes of RAM and a 2001 monitor. And this actually looks like a realistic setup. The only thing though, is I think he probably did swap the monitor to make it look worse, but the PC doesn't look that bad. And I mean, yeah, the setup is a little bit weird with the kind of tablecloth and things like that. We also have Apple AirPods, but it's mainly just the peripherals in this setup and also the monitor that are really, really not the best. The rest of it is kind of decent. I mean, the only good part about this setup is let's be honest, the PC. I don't even know what the PC has, but it doesn't even look like it has a GPU. So, all right, it looks like we got a 32 inch monitor on the setup or just maybe the lens make the 27 inch monitor look weird. But this setup is powered by a PC, not a console. We got like a Razer mouse and I have no idea what keyboard it is. And it also looks like he has a kind of cheaper end mic. I don't know what headset that is, honestly probably just one from Amazon, but the setup could definitely use some work with the cable management. And is that a shower curtain or is that like brick painted like a wallpaper? I, I honestly have no clue what that is, but it low key doesn't look the best in my opinion. It just makes it look really like too colorful, but I think you could easily fix that with like some grass panels. You can barely see some that I have right over here, but the setup is kind of just basic, not really much to it. It's kind of just unorganized, not really too much personalization there is a little bit of on the shelf on the right there but honestly just kind of messy that's like basically what a lot of these setups are in this video and i also think i used to have those two light bars he has one on the left and right i used to have those on like one of my og setups in like 2020 2021 i think it's like from monster lighting or something i like am 90 sure that's what it is they don't look like the govi light bars this honestly looks like exactly like i would picture a dorm setup you can see kind of bunk bed and my bad if it's not a dorm setup but it looks looks really, really compact. Like there looks like there's literally no space at all for a mouse, no matter what, or you'd have to play at like extremely high sensitivity. It looks like she has a keyboard and mouse, but it is a console. Is that an iMac on the bottom right? Look, I actually don't really know that much about how iMacs look. That might be an iMac over there on the bottom right. I think that's what it is. So it looks like a little mini PC and console setup here, but it's just really, really squished that for me, there, there would be no way I could use this setup. It's just no mouse room at all. But compared to the other setups in this video this is like top tier organization i think those are books and like pencils and stuff on the top right and like on the shelf there but this is so much more organized there are a little bit of cables but like literally my setup's the exact same so i can't even complain at all that low key is a little uh weird painting at the top there i'm not gonna lie but yeah overall basic chair looks like a 60 hertz monitor overall i would just say if you could upgrade the desk but it definitely is probably a dorm setup and like limited space for sure because there's also a bunk bed so there's probably not that much space okay and i do appreciate this guy taking the time to make his setup for this video because i'm not even trying to sound like kind of spoiled or anything but i really don't think there's anyone gaming with a monitor on top of their xbox box and on top of a dog cage but i mean i might have just never tried it it might low-key be the strat but i don't even know what you would be sitting on like a pillow i mean we did see that earlier in the video so i actually would not be surprised at all but this looks like a fake setup that someone would set up but hey if you guys think it's real you can vote for it to be the worst setup but i'm just saying it probably is a little bit fake it just looks like really really extra but it looks like 60 hertz monitor and judging by the console it is the new gen so he gets 120 hertz and honestly i don't i'm not 100 sure but i've kind of judged the refresh rate of the monitors kind of by the bezels and this one has like really thick bezels so it's probably a 60 hertz monitor but honestly he probably is a controller player i mean i can see the controller keys over there and he's also uh on a console so not the worst setup and surprisingly he actually kept the cables under control whether he just set this up or he actually uses a setup but i mean i feel like you would just try and get any kind of normal desk because the room looks like a kind of normal sized room and his bed doesn't even look like super super cheap kind of looks like a normal bed normal room i feel like you could 
could kind of get a desk. I'm not sh I'm not judging though. Okay, again, I know I said this last time, but your guys' setups actually improved so much, especially some of the ones that I have up on the screen right now. Like compared to a year or two ago, you guys have actually made a lot of improvements. Definitely from watching my videos, I, I take all credit for that because, you know, I built like 20 setups. But yeah, honestly, some of the setups in this video were maybe a little bit fake, but I'm gonna pick probably the top five worst setups that I think actually could use the $500. And make sure you guys go onto my community tab on my youtube channel and you guys can vote on the worst setup and instead of giving like three people 150 250 dollars this time i'm just gonna give it 500 dollars to one person and i don't want the blame to um start an argument so i'm letting you guys decide and only one person's getting 500 dollars instead of it me splitting it like three ways kind of so yeah good luck to everyone and make sure you guys go to my community tab and again make sure you guys sign up with one of the first links in the description and pin comment for my mouse pads i'm telling you these are just the first two designs we're going to be building on this, especially if you guys actually show support and you guys do enjoy the mouse pads and everything. And there are a ton of cool features. Like I'll pop up a video. Literally, if you pour water on it, the water like literally like bounces off. It like doesn't stay on the mouse pad. So it really has like high quality. I didn't try and cheap out on these mouse pads. And uh, yeah, I hope you guys do enjoy them. But like always, if you guys did watch all the way to the end of this video, make sure you click on any of the two videos up on the screen right here. Remember, Jesus loves you. And that's about it. God bless.